changed tactics and summoned me. To do what? To change Uther to resemble Cornwall so he could have Igraine for just one night. You want me to believe I'm a product of sorcery and rape? You were conceived that night. Well, then I want the truth. I want some story to make me believe in magic. I don't care what you believe. You were my payment. Why would you take a child as payment? This realm needs a leader better than any who has come before. That can be you. Must never be sealed. Never built over. If we look up and see the sky, we'll never forget who we're serving. Never be disconnected from the world outside. I like that. She is hating every minute of this, and it was her idea. <clears throat> What's that phrase they use? Hoist by something or other? Petard. Mm. Nothing like a bit of petard hoisting to get the party in a swing. <laughs> oh, wow. You look absolutely beautiful, Mum. Thank you. Don't you, Saeed? <laughs> yep. Fantastic. Yeah, can we uh, get on with this? Because I'm feeling a bit self-conscious. All right, I'm just setting the timer on automatic. Oh, Saeed and I were thinking that maybe you and Dad should sit at the front with Camille, and the three of us will stand behind. Sure, whatever you see. Tamar, how long are you going to be? Almost there. Just hold still. OK, no one move. Oh, something else I forgot to mention. I, um, I got a letter this morning. Yes, I know. I was the one that delivered it. Who's it from? My dad. All right. What did he want? Oh, it was just a short note, but there was a surprise inside. A cheque. Ah, oh, wow. How much? £5,000. Five grand? Did you hear that, Z? Wow. Why didn't you mention it before? Well, we were waiting till we're all together, weren't we, Saeed? Well, lucky you. Congratulations. OK, that's ten seconds from now. So, what are you going to do with the money? Well, Saeed and I have already discussed this, and we thought it was best for us to use the money to find a place of our own, set up home by ourselves. £5,000 would not get you the deposit on a hole in the ground. Not buying, Mum. Renting. There's enough for a deposit and some decent furniture. OK, we're going to have to take that one again. Uh, this time, let's just all get in a line. Mum and Dad in the middle, side in a mirror on either side. Come home, Billy. Carol, don't be out all Who asked you? Drink up, son. It's on the ass. Son? You're calling my boy son? He's not your son, he's my son. Because we all know about your son, don't we? Carol, I really think... Yeah, well, don't think. Let's talk about Grant, shall we, Peggy? Yes. I'm more than happy to talk about my Grant. Proud of him, are you? Yes. I'm very proud of him. Made a man of him, did it? He was a man to start with. It wasn't by the time he'd finished. That war turned him into a psycho. I mean, you ask anyone who knew him back then. We was all scared of him in case he kicked off any minute. War drove him nuts. Well, I'm not having that happen to him. Come on, Billy, we're going home. Mum! Mum! I ain't going anywhere. Thank you, Charlie. You want to know the reason I'm joining up? The real reason? It ain't about seeing the world. It ain't about learning a trade. It's so I can get away from you. sleigh, homebound, with sacks of teddy bear stuffing. We divert west to avoid a bad nor'easter, but across 
the Oregon coast, we ran afoul of an air defense picket. Before I knew it, an interceptor was on us like a hungry, hungry wolf. He got off a lucky shot and we got hit by a missile. Clumsy me. I was plunging towards the earth, watching poor Lionel trying to rein in the sleigh. I just hope he, he made it home. All right. Nick?